right. Seems like we're ready to go. Thank you for being here. Uh, we are Perry and Alex, ambassadors from Fedora, and we're here to talk about uh, the actual process to becoming an, an ambassador. Um, I'm going to skip this one because we have one when, where we introduce ourselves. So uh, this is, uh, as I mentioned, and I think I'm going to be going very fast because we <laughs> chart on time. Uh, we'll cover who we are, what it's like to be an ambassador, what are the benefits, uh, the onboarding process, and uh, what's the commitment that you are signing up uh, for. <clears throat> for me, my, uh, uh, my friends call me Alex. I've been contributing in Fedora since 2008. My, uh, my first Fedora version is Core 1, and previous to that I used Red Hat 9. Um, I work for a company called Softec uh, as a DevOps, DevOps engineer, and I uh, first enthusiast. I've been professor, <coughs> member of the, one of the remaining Linux user groups in Mexico. And that's that photo is three days long, so that's me, you can be sure. And hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Perry Rivera. I'm a Fedora ambassador since about 2015. <coughs> for, um, my fun fact is um, my first version of Fedora was Fedora Core 4, so a little while ago. Um, and I'm a Red Hat customer success architect, providing uh, services for our customers, uh, internal versus external. Uh, if you happen to be a Red Hatter, just log on to demo.redhat.com, and partners can log in to partner.demo.redhat.com and access our OpenShift AI and uh, educational offerings. Um, yeah, we enable our customers through our OpenShift technologies, and our teams use Fedora as a daily driver. OK. So what is a Fedora ambassador? It is a person that represents Fedora. It, uh, one of, or some of their function is to spread the word, the word to ensure that the public understands what is Fedora, what are its principles, and how the community works. Uh, we give a face to Fedora, probably not the prettiest, but this is what it is. Uh, uh, we facilitate the expansion of the users and contributor base, <clears throat> and we connect to, to different people in different parts of the project uh, because we try to bring together the, the people that is interested. Um, we have some responsibilities, and one of the primary is to ensure that the Fedora updates are being broadcast to the public and to collect feedback as well from users and contributors. Uh, we share our input to other Fedora uh, committees like Mindshare through the representatives. But also organize participation in events for Fedora like info boot sessions, uh, uh, university, uh, Linux user group, etc. Uh, we try to onboard new contributors and users by guiding them into the, the, the project, uh, coordinate release parties, install fest, and so some sort of more technical stuff, uh, and talk and make sure that the audience understand the principles or the foundation that we are guided uh, for. Uh, we checked on other ambassadors to ensure if they are doing well or if, if we can be of any help or assistance. Uh, <clears throat> to try to promote other projects, not, not necessarily related to, to Fedora, but uh, free and open source. Demonstrate Fedora and open uh, source projects in, in several events. and. Uh, promote Fedora in, in users, groups, with talks, and other activities. <clears throat> there, there are some benefits of, of being an ambassador. Uh, you get to contribute and collaborate with people, people 
like uh, things like you and uh, oh, worldwide, which is a, uh, you get to get involved with people from many cultures. Uh, uh, it, helps, it helps you to expand your worldview and your mind about uh, how other cultures work. It might help you advance in your career path uh, because uh, your skills are, are getting more strength uh, there are enhancements in your process development, networking, doing this, like, uh, like right here, right now. And occasionally, <clears throat> you get to travel and uh, to meet uh, other people and, and to promote Fedora. Uh, but you also have some, uh, you need to be committed. <clears throat> you need to take this responsibility seriously. Uh, you need to invest time and effort uh, to, to the activities of the group, to catch up on email, to respond them, to participate in forums, uh, and whatever is uh, assigned to you. You're not getting paid. You're volunteering. You are uh, participating in a community. So uh, what is expected from you is to, to uh, this kind of commitment, right? And, oh, of course, to commit to the community rules and, and uh, apply them in the day-to-day -day inter interactions. Uh, uh, how do you know if you are made for this? Uh, well, if you have some skills, you enjoy coordinating events, if you can engage interest at, at Fedora release events, if you like uh, distributing swap or interchanging swap exchanging swap uh, to connect to others to lead them to success and as we have mentioned earlier you're the face of, of the project so uh, you have to be your your best uh, face uh, so take Perry will take it from here to talk about uh, the actual process Thank you, Alex. So yeah, just dovetailing on what Alex has mentioned, uh, basically, uh, yeah, you may be asked to, um, to help out in uh, local events, uh, whether they're uh, Linux users groups, yeah, um, just stopping by to check out and see if they need any assistance with uh, Fedora topics, or a, a release party. Uh, if, if a big release is coming up, you may, you may want to um, but to get, uh, organize a release party um, for, say, release uh, 41 or 42, uh, probably 42, uh, since there is, there is a timing issue in terms of getting uh, the funding set up. Um, and so you, you want to be sure that all those ducks are in order before, um, before um, attending your event. Uh, same is true with uh, future events like, uh, say, scale or um, uh, any any type of events which may be either in state or out of state, you do need to make sure that all of the approvals are in place, and there is there are some processes as to what type of websites you need to go to. So um, for folks who are here at the conference, we'll be sending a copy of the slides uh, down the channel in the chat, and after the conference, you should be able to find some way either on the website or later to download these slides. Basically, to get started uh, on the process on how to become an ambassador, you'll need to um, browse to this link. Um, and then on the, the key is at the far bottom right. So you want to scroll down and go to uh, click the button that says Start the Ambassador Membership Process. Then from there, read the information that's on that page. It, if you've never set up a Fedora page before, it's pretty simple. Uh, it takes a few minutes. If you'd like, you can Google for some of the other um, some of the other profiles, like either mine or Alejandro's, so you can get some idea how to set it up. It's pretty simple, like setting up a wiki page. And uh, once you get that going, uh, continue exploring uh, things about Fedora. 
So if you've never, if you've never browsed these links before on like what's going on um, with the community, like Fedora Magazine or the, or the Com blog, community blog, check those things out. It's good to know what's going on um, because that way you keep tabs on what the latest versions of things are, who needs help, and uh, where is help most needed or least needed, what are the hot topics, like I'm pretty sure you'll see uh, quite a few things about AI, and then just peruse the mailing list there. Uh, you can add on to it if you like, and then uh, possible lists of things that you'd like to join. And then just lurk in any of the IRC channels. We encourage you to download um, some type of IRC client, either Element or your favorite text-based ch um, uh, chatting program, and then connect to the various channels that are uh, in these links below. And then from there, uh, the, next thing, the, the next thing you'll need to do is uh, choose a mentor. Now there are, um, before selecting a mentor, you'll need to find out who's available. And this page is in a state of flux, so you may find that people who are uh, listed may or may not be available due to their current time commitments. So if you find that uh, no one's available, please let us know and we'll, we'll see if we can uh, arrange uh, a connection uh, between you and a mentor, so that way you can get your process started there. And then once you've selected a mentor, um, oh, and then the possibilities for LATAM NA are possibly Luis Bazan, NB, or perhaps Karsten Wade. And then from there, uh, uh, join or subs uh, uh, request to join and subscribe to the ambassador's mailing list. There's uh, key information there on um, the current events that are coming down the pipe. It's very important to know uh, uh, who's who's needing assistance in terms of like uh, um, becoming an ambassador. And then continue checking your email box. Are you ready? Uh, uh, just to mention that probably anyone from the previous session here in this room, uh, they, they know for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely make sure that um, the person you're tapping for a possible mentor does have uh, the time available to uh, assist you uh, during your process there. And then, so they will re reach out and discuss the next steps with you, which includes reviewing the, the, four, the mission and the four foundations. Uh, freedom Friends features first. Uh, what are the various policies for ticketing and re the reimbursement process for events? Do's and don'ts, like, you know, is it okay to charge certain items to your card? Do you need to prepay for certain things or do they get auto approved? They'll go through these details with you. Uh, and then they'll let you know what your selection result is based upon, um, based upon your commitment. So, so just to recap, we discussed what a Femba Fedora ambassador is and what we do and why we do what we do, and then onboarding and the next steps. So we do encourage you to apply now, and we look forward to you, you hopefully joining us soon. All right, so uh, are there any questions? <laughs> Hey, uh, how many active ambassadors are there now? Uh, we looked for that, and there used to be an automated script that uh, uh, calculated or retrieved uh, from the Fedora ambassador membership, but that script is uh, outdated since 2017, I believe. Um, so we don't have that information at hand, I, I know. It is useful, and it used to be at hand by running a script, but uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't know that with precision or estimated. Yeah. Cool, and my second question was, are there uh, any geographic areas where there's like lack of coverage now, or is it, 
is their coverage mostly everywhere. Because I know at one point there was pretty much someone anywhere in the world, um, but that's going back a while. Well, at least for me, I cover um, the west, the west coast part of North America, and uh, Alejandro here covers LATAM, um, and uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, Eduardo and Luis, there are others, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I'm not sure if there is a specific coverage. Uh, I mean, I don't have a specific areas assigned. I try to participate as long, as much as my capacity uh, is able to. But mm, I think the short answer is no. Yeah, and I, and if there were if there were a lack of coverage, typically the board would let us know so that way we can see if we can we have friends in that area who might be able to assist in possibly onboarding as an ambassador. So, yeah. Is there another question? I have. Sure. I have a question. <laughs> Um, so we've heard between uh, today and yesterday that there are various other groups within the Fedora project, like the community operations revamp. We also have a really strong Fedora marketing brand as well. How tightly intertwined is the Fedora ambassadors program with these initiatives? And if not, is there, is, do you think that that would be a good fit for Fedora ambassadors to work closer with those kind of groups? So at least at least for the scale event, which uh, happens in Pasadena yearly, uh, we're constantly working with our marketing teams regarding uh, any type of uh, logo type of information, uh, logo type of swag that uh, is is most needed. Um, we also provide feedback from our um, from our. Um, from our user base as to like what what is desired swag and what is and uh, or, or if there are any questions about the logo that they have, um, what are their what are the thoughts about the uh, current logo compared to the previous logo? So yeah, the, um, but we're we're definitely working with other other teams throughout. So. Yeah. But uh, we can always work more tight with, with other teams, yeah. Uh, we can always do that. Yeah. It's never enough. I have another question as well, actually. Sure. Again, if there's anyone else. Um, so we've heard you do an awful lot to support the Fedora project. Mm -hmm. What would you like from the project to support you more with in that work? Hmm. I, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, uh, Alex, do you have an, an immediate what, answer? What can the project do more for us? Is that yeah. Uh, I, I, I never thought of that. But if I, uh, and I'm not complaining, <laughs> of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes some activities, and it is understandable, they go through the bureaucracy of the approvals and the funds and the money and and sometimes that takes a lot of time and sometimes we have to uh, confirm in the latest minute with where, where uh, there's a lot of progress for for example for for an event uh, uh, that is something uh, that I feel that if it was more uh, agile, more f uh, faster, uh, it, it could help us. Uh, pr probably we can improve uh, uh, our communication somehow, and I understand the come up is working on that, uh, but if we are more aware of what's happening in other regions, in other groups, in other uh, efforts, that will be very helpful for us. Yeah, I think for me, uh, after thinking about the question, is um, ultimately what I'm trying to, one of my main goals as being a Fedora ambassador. Um, so I, had, I have a few friends who are Fedora ambassadors, and just the way, um, just speaking with them on how it's, uh, it's changed them uh, for the better working, uh, listening to our, our um, users and all of the people who use Fedora, 
um, and just giving back to our community. I think, I think probably that was uh, the main reason why I started as a Fedora ambassador. Uh, as, to, um, as to what um, people could do for me, I think, I mean, pretty much just um, uh, keep, keep doing what you're doing in terms of um, making sure that Fedora is a strong brand. And if there's anything we can do to help, whether it's um, uh, uh, advertise some new app or something that is definitely going to push Fedora far ahead or um, make Fedora like look nicer for some reason if someone asked for like like I think we had we had a question recently about could we have nicer fonts like kind of like this other uh, distro or something it's like well you know we will pass that information back to our um, uh, uh, back to back to our developers and see what we can do you know things like that or, so or, or we can teach you to do that and you can start contributing right? exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah sure related to his question um, mm -hmm. I think uh, we need to room that is quick that you say um, check what are the regions that uh, needs more uh, ambassadors mm -hmm. And I think we need to change the way to get that ambassador, for example, having a landing page in, the, in, our, in, in our site, okay? Like inviting, inviting to the new contributors to be ambassadors uh, directly and not uh, what, what we are doing right now, that we, we are attending to the event and we ask to the people, hey, do you want to be ambassador? It's, it's always, uh, of which we do that, but I, I think uh, we need to change the way um, and be more, you know, uh, like marketing side <laughs> and, and make this invitation um, online, okay? It's uh, my two cents there uh, to change that. Thank you. Thank you. If there's no more questions, thank you again for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming.